<laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Pippin's home. Today we are putting together a green stock planter and putting some transplants out into the garden. This is the new This is the new hammock. I've already fallen off of it multiple times. <laughs> so first things first, I did buy the like spinner base, but it comes with this little tube here to direct the drain flow away from wherever you want it. So actually I'm gonna set this up over there because that's more of where I wanna put it. Gotta move these chairs first. That's our makeshift doggy fence. Keep him in the yard. I think I'll put the planter, ow, right here. What are you doing, partner? We'll take one of these guys. Yeah, that's good. And we'll, oh, we gotta fill this up with dirt. Potting mix, garden soil. My goal is to plant strawberries in these, but I haven't been able to find strawberries anywhere. It's like everybody was so selling them at the beginning of spring and now nobody is. But I guess people don't want them to go to waste or maybe they're all bought out, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I don't have a whole lot of potting mix. So I'm just gonna put some of this garden soil in here and then top it off with um, potting mix. I think this is gonna hold a lot more soil than I expected because these are the like deeper original pots. Probably be better if I just dumped it in, huh? But these big heavy bags are kind of hard to manage. I've been wanting one of these green stock planters for so long and my husband got me one for, the, for Mother's Day. Um, I'm so excited to finally have one because I really thought about getting like one of those knockoff versions, but I can tell from like looking at this, the watering system, the rotating system, everything, that this is really high quality and it's gonna be worth the amount of money because you're not gonna have to replace it. Now, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I have watched a lot of reviews on them and they do seem really nice. And just from looking at it, I think it's really nice. So, and if you look at the size of these cells here, they are quite large. Like if you get the original planter, you can plant so many different types of things in in a little thing about this big. Now with a container like this, you will have to amend it like every year probably, probably maybe a couple times a year just because it's such a small container. Once you grow something in it, your plants are gonna suck that nutrients out of there and there's nothing that can replenish that besides you actually putting something in. So we'll be doing that and I might add some perlite and vermiculite to this just to loosen it up a little since this is garden soil. Okay, let me update you guys on our family a little bit. Um, blood tests have not given me the answer to what could possibly be going on with me, but I'm trying to just do the best that I can, rest when I can, talk to my doctor, running more tests. It's just, it's, we're kind of at like a standstill at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. That's so funny, when, whenever I sneeze, my daughter says, goodness, <laughs> she's adorable. Uh, she says, bless you sometimes, but most of the time she says, goodness, it's so cute. She is doing really well. She's meeting all her milestones. And I decided she will be in my videos just because sometimes I don't have somebody to watch her or I wanna get her involved in the thing that I'm doing while I'm recording but I also wanna be able to record. So I like to bring you guys along and I, I wanna be real with you guys. So I'm gonna show you the reality of my life. And my, my reality of my life is that my toddler is always with me. Now she's not right now because thank goodness my husband is home um, to help watch her. But he actually just got back from a new job interview. He might be working for the police department, which is super cool. We're excited. I think I might do the rest of these off camera because you guys probably don't want to see me just fill them up. I'll go ahead and show you how to do how I'm doing the first tier so you can kind of see what I'm doing for all the other ones. You guys can let me know in the comments like are you the type that enjoys seeing the entire process of things or are you the type that just wants to know what I'm up to. I'm just kind of yapping at this point. All right it says fill all the way to the top. This will probably sink some but now we take now I'm taking this and I'm putting it on there. Take the next one. Did I get it on there right? I think so. Wow, this is much faster. But am I gonna spill it? That is the question. 
Oh, this bag is ripping. Wow, the soil is soaked. Oh, this is the one that I put stickers on. I think I'm gonna put this on the top. So we'll save that one for later. Those stickers came with the order. Super cool that they included those. This is gonna be so awesome. I really think I'm gonna make this in its entirety. My strawberry bed, maybe some herbs on the top. Who knows, maybe I'll even get another one someday and make that like specifically an herb bed. So don't wear a white shirt while you're doing this because that's just not a good idea. Take it from me. So I totally forgot which of these tomatoes was the cherry tomato and which of these was the regular tomato. It was the Better Boy Hybrid. I have two cherries and one Better Boy I know, but I don't have room for all three of them. So let's see if we get lucky enough to figure out which is which. I would say these are maybe the two cherry tomatoes and this is a regular tomato. So I think I'm gonna plant it in this um, little thing here. And then I also have a loofah plant that I've been growing. Um, I don't know if they do well with transplants, but I'm gonna put that bad boy right here and I'm gonna be putting some trellising on here as well. We'll put this better boy hybrid hopefully over there in the garden in one of our tomato cages. Okay, little tomato, it's time to finally get transplanted out. I'm so excited. I just filled this pot up with potting mix and we'll kind of shake this bad boy out. Oh, his roots were not very established. So maybe they could have grown up in those pots a little longer. I think I am gonna end up having to take these bottom leaves off here but I don't want to stress this plant too much. And we have that other hopefully cherry tomato. So if this guy for some reason doesn't pull through this, we'll still have that transplant that we can replace it with. All right, now it's loofah time. I hope this loofah does well. I'm actually gonna plant it kind of over to the side here because I think I'm gonna also direct sow some loofah here, just in case this doesn't take transplant well. There. Right here, we have this tomato cage. And am I gonna take it out and put it back in? No, because I'm lazy. Man, this Bermuda grass has been awful to fight off. Having to come out here almost every day and pull out this Bermuda grass before it takes over my garden. Tomato plant. We are gonna take these bottom bits off because I don't want my tomatoes getting any kind of disease. Huh, that's a big old rock. Someone was asking about my compost pile and here it is in this pile of weeds. It is not a very big pile yet. And I just have this stick as a marker, but I actually pick this up and turn it every once in a while. And you can see there's some activity going on in there, but you'll be happy to know that I recently found this crate that somebody was throwing away and I dug it out and this is gonna be my new compost container. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I'm really excited about this old piece of wood. I have been having some serious pest issues and I tried really hard to control them by hand, by manually going out there and picking them off, but I just wasn't able to keep up with it. So I tried diatomaceous earth. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Um, and that helped a little bit, but it's just gotten really bad. So I got some organic neem oil that I'm gonna go spray on there now because they are decimating my crop, seriously. I really don't like to use pesticides and fungicides if I don't have to, but I really think in order to even get a harvest this year, I'm going to have to, because something, and I'm telling you the roly polies, the roly polies are destroying my potato plants. And I got that on my hand. I hope that's okay. I actually should probably go wash my hand. They're eating my, plants like crazy, not just the decaying parts, but the living parts as well. And I always thought roly-polies were good insects. So now I'm like, what? How is this a thing? There, there's like billions of them. I can't even explain to you how many I've tried to peacefully remove from the garden, but I've also had cabbage loopers and aphids and tomato hornworms already. So I'm like, come on, why are the pests being this intense already. I really should wear gloves for this next time. I do not like getting this on my hand because I, I know it's organic, but I read the warning and it's really said that you should be careful to get it not on your skin. This is the first day in a long time we haven't had crazy, stormy, tornado-y weather. So I'm hoping 
that this can stay on for a little while and get all those pests. Over here has been one of my main problems is I've had cabbage loopers like crazy, um, some sort of disease or uh, pests on my cilantro, on my lettuce, on my spinach, on my kale. Um, it's been really, really bad. And the season really has only just begun. So I'm like, am I gonna be able to get a harvest? I think so. It's gonna be a fight this year, I think. I know you're supposed to fully saturate the plants, but I really don't think my hand has the energy to do all of that. Ouchie. That's what those mean bugs are gonna say. I know it doesn't seem like it did that much today, but I am just out of energy already. But I am staying positive. Also, I wanna thank you guys for coming and watching today's video, even though it wasn't necessarily that interesting. I only did just a few things, but I do thank you for coming and for watching the whole video. Um, and I'm gonna go rest and eat and take care of my family and my house. And I hope you have a lovely day.